Hello everyone, I'm Fred. My hometown is in the city of Xi'an, Shanxi province. Talking about my hometown, my dad always tells me proudly that it is one of the birthplace of Chinese culture. In my hometown, seeing all sorts of mausoleum is the most normal thing I've ever been. Like this mausoleum here, it is only two kilometers away from my grandparents' house. Its owner is the mother of Emperor Wen, the second emperor of Han Dynasty. That's about 2,000 years ago, like the Terracotta Warriors and the mausoleum of the first emperor of Qin Dynasty, which is also known as the eighth wonder of the world. This picture was taken at the top of Maoli. Yeah, that's me, over there, like a safeguard. You see, as a child from Shanxi, I already started guarding the tombs of my ancestors from 2,000 years ago, when I was just three. In my hometown, there's a joke that say even a small rock on the roadside could be a cultural relic. But actually, this is not a joke. In an evening of 1981, a middle school student found a beautiful black rock on his way back home. After a careful observation, he found that this rock has been polished. And it seems like that it's also engraved with characters. Just on the second day, he took the rock to the museum. Identified by archaeologists, this rock is a seal, and its owner has a great background. When time goes back to 500 AD, here in the government was a minister holding the key post, and his name is Du Wu Jin. This guy's eldest daughter married the emperor. He got all the trust and powers from the emperor and was appointed with multiple positions. But you see, different positions and locations need different zeal. It's not easy to manage so many seals. For convenience of management, Du Hu Xin put 14 different stamp seals all in one. Yes, this is the stone that the student found. When I first saw it in Shen's History Museum, I was deeply fascinated by its delicate appearance and the amazing story of its owner. As a child from Shanxi, I would definitely share this wonderful story with all of you around the world so that you can understand Chinese civilization better through this small rock. This is the proudest thing in my gene. So what if I make a copy of the seal and send it to each one of you? If you look at it carefully from multiple directions, you will find out that it's a polyhedron with 26 faces. I love making all sorts of geometrical shapes in my daily life. With my dad's help, we made the first one. We calculated the length and width of the seal. We drew on the cardboard. We cut it, we stick all the edges together, and that's how it looks like. It is very cool. Cardboard can be easily rubbed into pieces. Can we make some more solid models, like carving potatoes? So we then made the second one. It's really solid. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now that's how we made it. First, we cut a potato into a cube. Then, we drew all the dots and lines that show us where to cut. And at last, we cut it. And, and that's how it looks like when we're done. It is very cool. Potatoes cannot be preserved be copied and distributed, but computer data can. I made, I made the third one on the 3D modeling software and it has the exact size of the real seal. I shared the model on the art project of Global Campus on our English website so that everybody on Global Campus can see and own such a beautiful seal model. Although small, the seal is a very important carrier and witness of Chinese culture and civilization. Today, using new technologies and the internet, everyone can be an ambassador to protect Chinese civilization and bring it to the world. Thank you. <laughs>